Mattel has shared out more updates on the upcoming Moto Origins Wave 14 and today on the channel we're checking out the official packaging images for Squeeze, the evil long-armed wiper. Now I just reviewed the original vintage 80s Squeeze figure on the channel a couple of days ago. Go check out that video if you haven't already. Meantime, I gotta say that Squeeze for me is the most awaited new figure from this entire wave. The Wave's got some repaints and redecos, but Squeeze here is an all-new figure with all-new tooling and there's just so much that you can do with him, especially with those evil-looking extendable arms that can just bend and contort in any kind of way and position. Man, this guy's going to be awesome for your Snake Man display. Squeeze is a pretty huge looking guy, okay, especially when you've got his arms all fully extended and I originally thought that he was going to be released as a deluxe figure, like something like this that you think that he'll be a deluxe package but no, they find a way to just pack him, just stuff him onto a standard card pack, just look at the way that he just fills up that plastic bubble, okay, it's kind of like Mantena, Mantena to me was like, wow, is he going to be a deluxe but no, they find a way to just put him on a standard card, it's amazing, it's like some of these waves, you get a figure that really totally stands out. To me, personally, this is the standout figure for this entire wave. I can't wait to just land this guy. Just tell me, okay, is this wave arriving anytime soon? I don't know, okay, but now that we have the official carded images, it could be anytime, okay, like in the next couple of weeks. But meantime, let's check out what this figure can do officially on the package here. See what it says here. Tie up to three warriors at the same time. Yeah, Squeeze here looks like he's pretty great when it comes to snuggles and cuddles, you know? You got a whole bunch of masters stuck in there within his grasp even tila okay making this for something like a fun foursome i hope everyone makes it out alive okay and the other thing that you can do here is attach his pet snake to his arm yeah i'm not really sure if the pet snake is also sort of like made out of the same bendable material he might be okay i don't have the original one but perhaps this one okay yeah it's made out of the same bendable material as squeezes arms so yeah there's really a bunch of stuff you can do here with this figure i did wonder though why does he have a pet snake though i mean he's already a snake and on top of that he needs a pet that's also a snake okay on the card back artwork here we get this battle sequence here all right squeeze you know taking on both real blast and extender okay what it says here in the text Okay, this is pretty violent, okay? It says here, Squeeze constricts his victims out of their last breath with his enormous elongated arms. Yeah, so basically what they're saying here is, you know, murder, okay? He's basically just murdering them to the point of their last breath. But having said that, I don't really think that Squeeze has actually ever officially murdered any of the Masters of the Universe characters, okay? Maybe some random palace guards, but none of the major characters, you know? Extenda has now made so many appearances of Moto Origins cardback artwork. I think this is like his third appearance to date, the last one being on the cardback for Snake Face. At this point, you just really have to wonder, where the fuck's the figure, okay? I mean, this is a rare situation where you have a Moto character that's made so many artwork appearances, but he's yet to receive an action figure. So maybe he's just around the corner, I don't know. But then we also have Real Blaster. Real Blast is making his first appearance, as far as I can recall on any cutback art piece. I did list Real Blast in my list of the top five most anticipated new Moto Origins figures, the video that came out earlier this year. And definitely Real Blast is connected to the Snake Man, dating all the way back to his original action figure debut in the 80s. He was part of that first Snake Man wave. So definitely, I feel that there's gonna be an announcement coming soon, maybe at PowerCon, one of those things that's coming up. Let's just wait and see, okay? But definitely, this guy, a lot of people are just gunning to add him to their collections. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, real blast. Okay, something about this cutback art piece, you know, definitely is fantastic seeing guys like Real Blast making their debut. And also Squeeze, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I know that this is his action figure, but it's also his first appearance on a cutback art piece. But something that surprised me is that there wasn't any use of any deep cut characters, okay? <laughs> for some reason okay there's no deep cut characters in this particular visual you know i was expecting that okay you know from the recent trend that we've been seeing you know like real obscure characters to drive talking points uh, to the extent that they have to reuse extenda again okay <laughs> yeah so i'm a bit surprised okay that we got some pretty regular looking guys here but anyway really looking forward to this particular figure drop your comments below catch you guys again real soon with more content